Well, hello and good afternoon and happy Tuesday the 11th of October. Could you feel me? <laughs> pulling that out, pulling that out. Oh, it is, oh, <laughs> it's 20 past five in the afternoon. So I do apologise for not coming on in the day, but you're going to get me all in one lump, all in one go. <laughs> it wasn't intentional. Um, I yeah I didn't sleep very well the other night and I deliberately didn't put my alarm on so I didn't go up till 10 to 9 I was just like oh my word oh my word but I obviously needed it and I am trying my hardest this month to be sort of cosy and calm and I think I am a relatively calm person but you know those little I don't know I can sound might sound a bit strange there's little voices in your head that say oh you got to do this and you got to do this and you got to do this and you got to do it by then and I'm like whoa chill <laughs> so for me on a Tuesday morning even though I'm a like empty nester and well I suppose I've been I suppose I've taken early retirement really um there's lots of days that I don't have to get up and go anywhere so I just took advantage of it this morning and I feel renewed and refreshed even if my hair's not right and I've just broken a nail but it's that one with the glitter on which I don't really like oh yeah I was going to show you but then I thought I might do might be <laughs> make it a rude gesture <laughs> a rude gesture and that's not good so first things first I do apologize for my video last night in the sense that it just went black at, black at the end but you could still hear my voice <laughs> so I don't know what had happened it could have been those up there thinking yeah she thinks she's getting on with this technology we'll just do something <laughs> scupper <her. laughs> it sounded like um i was in a cave or down a hole or something <laughs> you could still hear me like waffling on <laughs> so i'm sorry yeah i did put some money in the meter i did years ago well ex-in-laws they used to think it was really funny to um sit there and the lights go out and then they'd be um, find, having to find a 50p to put in the meter. Those were the days, eh? 50p for a meter. I don't know how long that used to last. I never used to find it funny, but they thought it was hilarious. <laughs> well, that's that's a real... What was I gonna say? Oh, I don't know. I'm just going on one. I'm just going on. So, first of all, let's get the bag. I'll show you the bag. So, here it is in real life. <laughs> So I think I was waffling on about um, what ribbon, what black ribbon I should put in there. <laughs> you know, sometimes when you just sit there, you're all on your own thinking about things. You just need to sit and think about it. You don't need to talk about it. <laughs> so maybe it was uh, YouTube saying <laughs> you've been talking long enough. <laughs> so I've got some um, black cord, which is <laughs> what I was trying to show you, which was much better. But obviously wasn't watching what I was doing because on this end... <laughs> I cut it too short, but it doesn't matter. It's still going to go in. Da -da. So, and on that note, it's um, going to be my saggy ball. Oh my word, it doesn't bode well, does it? It doesn't bode well. So I, yeah, didn't get up till 10 to 9, come down, made myself a cup of tea. Mr. Jacks was up and I went back to bed. Yeah, and I was on the sock. Um, I'll show you where I'm up to. So did I do the heel? I think I did the heel yesterday. I'm not sure if I showed you. Um, oh, all tangled now. So I did, yep, my heel flap. Is that the heel flap? That's the heel flap, isn't it? Yeah, the heel on the flap. And then I just sat there this morning. Um, I'm a bit behind <laughs> with my Vlogtobers. So I thought, you go, just cut yourself some slack. Yeah, you've been a bit busy, so just stay there, just snuggle in the warmth, which I did. Um, and I've done my gusset. <laughs> Ta-da! <laughs> so there we are. Oh, it's all tangled. So I'm really happy, really happy. I've got to be quick, because Mr. Jackson's has put the tea on. We're having, what are we having? We're having... Um, Roast pork, 
with onions, carrots, mushrooms and broccoli with noodles. He's doing a Chinese thingy. So there's my cables. So that's that. And then I've laid something out. I'm so excited. So excited. Right, let's get it all in its glory and I will show you. Look at that. So I finished the sleeve last night. I was so happy. So happy. So that is beautiful, beautiful. So all that stressing at the end of the last week, I don't need to worry because, oh, I'm still attached. <laughs> because my stitch knits up as quick as anything, especially when it's in Aaron. So yes. So I am one back complete. I'm on my second week and it's supposed to be a sleeve and it's only Tuesday. So yeah, lovely, very happy. I'm hoping Mr. Jacks isn't making too much noise for you. He'll probably throw my dinner at me in a minute. So that gets me on to um, thinking about what I'm gonna make. What am I gonna make next? I'm behind, yeah, I'm behind with um, my Vlogtober, so I've been cleaning my bedroom as well today. So I have been a bit productive and I was watching um, oh my, Sarah, Sarah, sorry, from Yarn, Yarn Mugs, Yarn Mugs podcast. I think I'd watched three and then I've, I've completely caught up. So I was like doing a bit, bit of my housework, watching a bit of uh, Sarah, a bit of housework, watching Sarah. So yeah, it took me a long time. And one of the days she was wearing this beautiful um, jumper, which I have got the pattern. And I'll be quite honest, I was a bit conscious of my size. Um, but I'm just going to put it on my list. I'm not casting on. I'm not buying the stuff. I'm um, meeting a friend tomorrow. So I will be looking at yarn. But I think I'll look and I'll get a colour in mind. I'll support the pattern out. And it is... The Adet. And Sarah had it on and she looked absolutely beautiful in it. She, I'm sure it was like a blue because I've been wearing my um, um, one and only jumper that I've knitted for myself, the Whitmore. So I've seen this and I think, yeah, I would really like to have a go at that. And it's in a four ply, so I need to go and have a look for some four ply um, yarn. I think I will try it in commercial. Um, and see how I get on. I don't think I've got, I quite fancy an autumnal, autumnal colour, like a plummy, but we will see. And then I've got another pattern on my list and it is the Conquer Mitts. I printed it off in black and white because I'm trying to save my colour. And this is by Potter and Bloom and she showed it off in her podcast uh, a couple of podcasts ago. So I thought finger, fingerless mitts, Maybe when I'm up in my sewing room, and it's a bit chilly, well, we're not, we haven't put the heat on yet, <laughs> um, that might be good. And also for you know, walking the dogs when you need your hands free, fingers free rather. So that's that. So I'm writing my list and I should have brought a book in yeah, to share with me, share with you. Um, let me just go in the other room, I'll get out of Mr Jack's way. <laughs> oh, right. <laughs> I've got to be quick, he says. My dinner's ready. It's going to be really short and sweet um, today, but it'll probably be a relief <laughs> after all my um, waffling. <laughs> yes, I've been commissioned for my youngest grandson um, if I would make him a Harry Potter um, jumper. So I said, oh, of course I would. I was made up to be asked. So I was looking. I have this book, which I don't know if any of you have got this book. Harry Potter magic and I've seen Ellie make these oh my word they are absolutely beautiful and she's made that scarf I'm pretty sure for her husband yeah her work is oh, beautiful beautiful so it's Mrs Weasley's home knit Christmas jumper I'm just gonna look extra small right so I don't know what size it in the book it is but that's the kind of thing that we're looking that um, has been requested. So I can just use 
I'll read this properly, but I could always just use like a standard baby pattern and then put the initial in. So that's my evening reading. And then I have this book and I'm pretty sure that I bought this in the works and the works in England is a shop that sort of has some crafty bits in, has loads of books like craft books, uh, but like reading books, jigsaws, all that kind of thing and arty stuff. Um, so I'll have to do like a, a swatch or something. Probably what I'll do is I'll do the back and then draw it out in a graph maybe. That's the idea. <laughs> so I'm just looking for those two colours. So yes, I think that's going to be it. Um, so I'm sorry it's short and sweet today, but that's just how it goes. Um, I'm not going to worry about it too much. Some of you out there might go, yay! <laughs> I'm glad you liked the um, footage that I got yesterday of the dogs. They're so cheeky. I literally just positioned the camera, left it there, and after a lot of editing was able to sort of put it down. But yeah, they're really funny, really funny. All right, my lovies, I'm going to leave you here because otherwise he might feed the dogs my dinner. <laughs> and I will see you um, tomorrow. Okay, bye my lovies, bye.